welcome or welcome back to the channel today is day 187 of playing chess every day until 2000 elo let's find an opponent we're sitting at 1724 all right looks like we get the white pieces we're gonna play e4 and we're going against somebody from italy 1792 playing a sicilian defense Ooh, a, an e6 sicilian so he's probably gonna look for that we're still gonna go with our norm now i believe we still play this right he's probably gonna play here just so that if i play this he can recapture i think that's the idea behind it okay so he's gonna play there so we go a4 to stop this from being a thing we do not want to put it the bishop here because then it goes directly into this which is just not what we want okay he immediately goes there interesting choice i believe we can just play if i go here hold up i think we might want to push here my reasoning being that if i go here and he pushes i go here where does this go i mean i guess then i can fee and keto go like that it's gonna be a very closed position let's just let's go for it whatever that's fine. If he wants to push and close the center, I think we'll be okay. Okay, he develops. That's a-okay. We're gonna play g3. Try and get the bishop out. So I think our biggest weakness is gonna be this file here. So I think it's gonna be very important to get the bishop on these squares, unless he decides to do this, which I think would be a very bad move. Now, if he develops here, I'm wondering if I should play this. He goes here. I mean, it seems fine to me, but this bishop really sucks. We all we we want to play f5 in these positions to open up the the bishop, but I mean, after e5, knight d7, he's just as crammed as me. Arguably, I have a little bit more space, so we're gonna go for it. I guess he can jump into the position. Yeah, I probably should have calculated this, but we didn't. Maybe here, unleash this. Yeah, so he just goes back. Now, does he have any eyes? No. He might have to go here? I don't know. Let's play bishop here. Just try to castle. Or maybe we don't... Maybe we don't castle kingside. Maybe we develop our bishop and queen and then go long. Because we already have so many pawns down here. And if I put my king on g1, it does look a little bit risky. Not so sure. But at the same time, he does have these pawns as well. So if I were to go long, this move and... I guess then I go here. But this can just open everything up. I don't like that. Wow, really? Well, interesting move. Takes, takes, takes. Can he take back? Wow, how do I want to go about this? This is very interesting. So, like, I, immediately I notice that this diagonal is very weak, but I can't really expose it, I don't think. And if I allow him to take, I take. And then he's kind of solving his cramped up problem here. Takes, takes, takes. If I take back, he can just recapture. But then we come in with check. Yeah, I think we might just castle. Because... But then the knight can go back here. But then we might be unleashing some, some dangerous stuff. Let's castle. He might castle as well. Who knows? But I do know if this moves, it activates the queen. Activates the bishop. If this pawn moves, my rook becomes active. If this pawn moves, this bishop becomes active. So this trade could potentially benefit me. Unless he does that. So I'm thinking of this move. Looks weird. Takes. Yeah, I guess there's not really anything. I'm just thinking this diagonal is weak. What if I go here? Then takes. There's nothing. Yeah. Maybe we just go queen here and apply pressure. Could go here. Then he can kind of force a trade. Maybe that's fine though. Here, bishop up. Let's play queen here. Let's just keep the tension in the position. We just add a defender here. I don't know if really it does much, but takes, 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 takes. And then he can three capture. Okay. So kind of has a purpose. But our bishop, uh, we did take away this square from our knight, which typically after this push, my knight would want to come here. But I guess it can... You know, maybe do this. I won't be surprised if I see f5. That looks decent. But it does give me the square, which is very... It's controlled very well right now. But Actually, if he went there, we could just go here. So he's putting more pressure on this pawn. Which makes sense. We could take. I don't really like taking, though. I guess if I take, I do have this check right away. Unless he goes here. Takes here. And then my dreams are gone. 
Yeah, so he's threatening this pawn. I could play rook here. I don't really want to play rook there. I could also play this. No, that loses a pawn. So if I play rook here, yeah, I mean, we we might as well just protect the pawn. I don't see a reason to just allow it to, to be taken. We can try for something like this. I am seeing alignments here, but protected very well, so I don't think there's any tactics that could arise there. Wait. Oh yeah, that's the issue. I'm thinking takes. This pawn's hanging, but no. We gotta remember that the bishop will open up. We can't just hope that he doesn't take like that. Okay, so he's forcing my hand here. I need to take, basically. He goes here. I mean, we need to take. My queen is hit. Okay. So is there any tactics here? Takes, takes, here. We could get two pawns for this. Is that worth it? Takes, takes, takes. Or what about this? Takes, takes. I guess he can protect here. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put the knight. We only have a few options. We could go here and then try to reroute like this, but I don't think that's good. Going to the back rank, I mean, I think is actually the best option, trying to go like this. Or maybe here to go here eventually. Difficult choice. I think this is our best option. Just go here and then try for this. Now his own pawn is blocking this really strong diagonal for him, which I like. And this pawn is weak. So you might play this to stop anything like this from happening. Just setting up discoveries eventually. Now I think this is possible. Takes. Takes. If recaptures, then here. Takes. And then this. That looks pretty good. Oh, he pushes. Pushes the pawn. Very interesting move. I guess his point is he wants to blunt my bishop. I mean, I'm thinking this and this, but I also kind of want to just activate my, my knight over here. Yeah, I think we just need to improve our knight. If I go there, can he do anything annoying? I think he can play this move, but then we would not do this because that would hang this. I guess then we can just move the rook. Let's just activate this a little bit better. I'm not 100% sure on what that really does. I notice that this cannot move now though. If I go here, it really weakens this. But what else can I do? And I want to get this active and then connect our rooks. So let's play this. It really weakens the C pawn. But that's kind of the goal here. He puts a bishop on there. I mean, fair. So now maybe this. But then we go here and here. Target his weakness. Unless he plays this. So he plays bishop here. He is attacking this rook. So the rook needs to move. Maybe we go here, just aligning with this. Then this rook doesn't really have as much play. Could go here. I don't really think it belongs there though. I'm worried that this is not gonna be able to get into the game, however. But let's play it. Maybe we look for this pawn break. I do think that he's gonna try and double up on this and put a lot of pressure. And now I'm thinking maybe we go here. And then maybe try for a pawn break. We'll see how it goes, though. Okay, so he wants to trade. He's probably going to bring the queen in. If he does this, I'd be a little bit interested. I mean, it makes sense. But then I can play here, hold all this together, then target the pawn, maybe like this. Also just blockades everything, and then he has no pressure on this. Unless we didn't play d4, then he could play this. And also after he takes, I go here, it opens up the square for this knight. I don't know if it's great. I kind of want to put the knight here and here to target this. But I feel like this is the move. Yeah, so he goes for that. We could kick him away immediately, but that does nothing. He's just going to stockpile on this. I'll probably have to play here and protect. Meanwhile, we're going to go after some of his pawns. Yeah, that was kind of expected. So I could go here. Takes here. But I don't really want to unleash his rook. If I'm being totally honest with you. So if I play queen here, trying to get here, I don't see anything. I don't really know how I'm supposed to get through here. I need to attack his weakness, which is right here. And this, but this doesn't really have... There's only one way to attack it, which is this, and it doesn't do anything. I mean, no, that doesn't do anything either. He just takes. Here takes protects this but i'm just creating another weakness right in front of my king i guess it does force him to immediately protect this pawn and we have a little bit of pressure this is probably a bad move i'm just gonna say it out right but uh, we're gonna go for it if he doesn't take we're going here and if he pushes then we take 
Yeah, so he goes ahead and takes, so we're going to recapture. Now he's going to protect here, so probably rook here. Okay. That is a way protecting, I guess. So he's going to try and put more pressure on this pawn. Could play here. Then I'm attacking this. I'll probably have to play this move. I'm thinking he's wanting to do this. So if I go here, he goes here. Like I need to play rook here. Then he goes here. Then I play here. Gonna hit me with some checks. I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and play it. Knight back. Ooh, I didn't see that move. Okay. Good move by my opponent. Guess we'll just go back. Oh, but now he's gonna have knight here. Yeah, this is kind of falling apart. No, he doesn't have knight there. What am I going on about? Queen just takes. It's very good to note that this bishop cannot move from defending this. Otherwise, I have takes. Hmm. What does that do? I have no idea what that does. I'm going to go knight here. I just kind of want to go like this. Oh, but now he can go here. And then I have to go back. Otherwise, he can take. But he can't take. Rook there. Yeah, he wants to double up, I think. And he's going to be just in time. Uh, but the knight... Yeah, the knight's doing a very good job. Yeah. So he's going to take next. But maybe I go here. Defend this. He's going to go here. I'm gonna take. If he takes, I have this move. Attacking the bishop. And I don't know if he can really defend the bishop there. Bishop moves. So now we don't have this tactic anymore because the rook is protected. However, we can go here and we do hit the rook. And where does this rook really go i can't go anywhere so this rook is trapped yeah he takes so he gives up the rook now he can take if he recaptures like this now we have this now we don't because the bishop protects but maybe we can come in with some tempo here no everything's protected in his position so i think i just need to protect my weakness i mean there's no way to protect both pawns i guess ah there is i can go here let's go back Offer a trade, and if he takes, we need to take like this. Because this rook's protecting here. Okay, so we don't have a way of protecting this pawn. But we're going to go here, we're going to try and infiltrate. If he takes with the rook, we'll just happily trade. If he takes with the knight, he's threatening this, but then we take. Okay, so he takes with the rook. We'll trade a pair of rooks. He's got eyes on this, which could be troublesome. So I would like to hold on to my bishop and also pawn. Because they're attacking once more. But I think I can just go here. And we should be able to win another pawn. He's going to get a pawn. Actually, he's going to have a pass pawn. Yeah, let's take here. If he takes, we take. Mm, do we take with the rook? I think we take with the rook so that we have immediate pressure here. And he trades. So let's go here. Just double check that there's no forks. Oh, but he wins that pawn. And there's a fork here. So now let's come forward. Now let's run the pawn. Bring the king. Say, so let's try to get in here. And he doesn't want to allow me in. If I go here, he can come in. I don't like that. If I take all position, can he do anything? He can give me a check. Winning this. Now, let's see. If I take, he takes, I go here, he goes here, I go here, he goes here, I go here, he goes here, I go here. So we don't want to do that. We're very close to being able to do it though. Wait, if I go here, can he stop my, my pawn? I think he can. Let's push it once more. Hmm. So we can take here. Takes, takes, here, 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 here. So he can't stop the pawn. I go here, he takes, I go here, he goes here, I go here. He goes here, I go here, promote, he promotes, check. Or do we just take the pawn and get forked? <laughs> um, yeah, let's not do that. So let's run through this calculation once more. Takes, takes. We already decided that he can't make it with the king. So takes, takes, here, 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 promotes. We both promote, but I promote first. And then we can come in with check. He can't come forward which is good to note. So he has to go here. Hmm. Yeah, we both promote. Now we gotta be very careful. Maybe I go for this check. He goes here, or this check. I think we might have to just keep giving checks. Yeah, we might have to take a draw here. 
If I go here, can he come forward? No. Well, then he can go here. And I can't actually go there. So if I go here, he goes here, then I go here. That would be checkmate. So he can't go here. He has to go back. Hmm. Um. Yeah, he goes to the corner here, here. He's gonna get in with this with his queen here, isn't he? What if I play this move? Nah, he's got a gazillion other checks. I'm very, very close to being able to get the draw, but I don't think I'm gonna pull it off. I guess we'll just take the pawn. He can't give me a check here. He can go here. This is protected. Run the king up. Let's go here. Can force a trade. He's got a 2 1 1. Let's go here. If I go here, he goes here. I go here. I can never take, so that would be a draw. The problem here is that he has moves like this. Yeah, so he goes a check. So if I go here, he goes here. I go here. I can never come here. What if I go here? I think I can go here. And then he's going to move his king somewhere. So then I think I can come here. No, he just goes there. <laughs> and now I'm the one getting shouldered. But he can't come in if I go here. He can't go here. But he can push the pawn. I'll just keep going back and forth. Yeah. If he pushes, I go here. And then I just run to the corner. And why is this not... Right? Oh, but now he can come in. Maybe I didn't need to go there. Okay, but now it's just a draw. Yeah. GG's to my opponent. Very well played. So let's find a second opponent. All right, we find a 1750. We get the white pieces again. He doesn't want to play e4. All right, we find a 1705. We get the white pieces. e4. What will my opponent play from Israel? Okay, this guy does not want to play e4 either. All right, we find Mag Sealer 1738. We get the white pieces. Will they aboard? No, they play another Sicilian. All right, so we... We get another Sicilian defense. Oh. And we have a fellow Canadian here. Wow. Really? An immediate E5. That's very, very interesting. So I'm tempted to play F5 here. We're going to play F5. Close this out. We're going to hop the knight into the center of the board. Probably at some point we're going to take this knight also. Takes with the pawn. That's. Oh, I guess that's actually a good move because now he has uh, a lock on this d5 square. Anyways, let's just continue. We've already played f5. Let's go ahead and play queen to e1. Maybe just try to get in here for this. Knight there. That does stop me from coming in. What happens after this though? Here? Takes here. We move the knight. I'm going to go g4. Knight here. I might even just play this. Yeah, so he just goes back. That's just going to allow me to come here. Then he goes back here. So I might play this first. Not allow him to take here. And I might just play king h1. Slide the rook over. Or maybe we just go all out and play h4. Yeah, he's he's got to do something there in the center. I go h4. I'm threatening this. If he takes, we're just going to take. I mean, surely we have some kind of roaring attack here, right? And if this, that's a deadly mistake. Closing the center, I believe. Yeah. I mean, I could counterattack. Knight back. But I think we can just play this move. Still nothing that he can really do to stop that move. Maybe h5, but then this. He goes here. What does that move do? He's protecting the pawn, but I don't even, I don't care about that pawn. Not in the slightest. Can go here. 
Takes, takes. I mean, he's not gonna take. He actually can't. I'm gonna go here. Knight comes in. Is the knight threatening anything? It's not. Honestly, here, here, takes, here. This just looks so good. This check is covered. Takes, takes. We take. Opens up this. I don't really like that. Could we close it down here? No. What? You're joking, right? Uh, that blunder's a queen. Can I just go here? And how do you stop that? He goes back. Rook up, over. Okay, now let's go ahead and cut him off here. He's probably got to do some. If he does that, there's mate in one. He goes check. So he can win material, but how does he stop this? I go here. He takes. If I play this, he can go back. Okay, that's very interesting. Okay, I guess we're gonna go for this then. That was a good move by him, I must say. But the king is just confined. I don't see how he can stop me from playing bishop d2 and then rook to h1. And then queen h8. That's what I'm failing to see. Unless he sacks the material back. But I could be totally wrong. I don't know. I really just don't know. Okay, so my opponent thinks for six minutes and plays bishop back. Uh, we're gonna play here, and then we're just trying to go here. And he just resigns. I mean, it's totally crushing. I think he had to go, like, bishop here to stop me from coming in with checkmate and, like, sack and then take. I don't know. But uh, let's take a look at that first game there. So we drew the first game. We played with an 84.9 versus it's 86.1, and we had 11 great moves. That's insane. <laughs> Zero misses, though. All right, so Sicilian defense. All of this is very, very solid and common. We're slightly better here. This, Yeah, this is inaccurate. I didn't know what to do. Bishop here. Um, maybe to try and go here. I don't know. I was very fumbled with what to do. Okay, this is the best move. Wow. There's that. Where should I have gone to? All the way back. Anyways, now we start to move this. It just wanted me to improve the bishop. And then I start rotating. And then I have to give up the pawn. He didn't take the pawn for some reason. Wait, he can take now. Really? Pardon? Oh, I did not see that. Yeah, okay. I see. That was quite the miss. We completely overlooked that. Uh, this does indeed protect, but he can still take. So he prepares. He misses something, and then we take. This is a mistake. Yeah, but can't he take this too? Oops, not there. Can't he just take this? I guess then I go here and attack this. Give up this pawn too. It's interesting. We go back, he trades, goes knight there, and he takes, trades that off, then we get in, now we protect our pawn, and he plays that move, which I thought was very weird. We're actually just completely winning here, by the way. I don't know how I completely messed this up. By taking? Right, I mean we win the pawn anyways though, right? Takes, takes, wait, what? Wants this. Keep the bishop. That's very interesting. Oh, because he got that pawn. Oh, yes. The knight afterwards wins the pawn. This is a mistake. So I needed to bring the rook over here. What did I miss? Rook back. Yeah, I guess my rook doesn't really belong there. This is a mistake. Wants me to maybe go over to the the pawn? I don't know. This is not right. I thought that, you know, I was going to get the draw here. <laughs> Checks. And then we take best move. This is technically a draw. Trade. And now the only moves start except for here. That was wrong. So I'm supposed to just go back to this square so that if he goes here, then I can go back. But he missed something. I think he could have came in. No, he could have went there. 
Why is that winning? I go back and that's all it says. Okay. Well, we had one miss and then we proceeded to play the rest in good only moves. Look at that. Look at that for end game stuff. Minus the one completely really bad move that completely threw the end game. But look at that. Apex chess drawing a drawn end game and not throwing it. Only throwing it for one move. Only one move. Not the whole time. All jokes aside though, I, I'm pretty, I'm happy with this. We had a 2000 performance ELO versus his 2050. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that second game. I think we played decent. I don't think it was our best game ever. Yeah, no. We played with a 70.2 and he played with a 51. So just not really that great. I'll look, this is a mistake, but I missed something. So I'm supposed to pin. What happens if he takes? I just go d4, cd, knight takes, and then we got double pressure. Queen h4 check, king f1. Yeah, okay. Well, we play f5, deal with it. Now we pin him and taking is a mistake. Yeah, I mean, I'm very systematic when it comes to the Grand Prix. My coach and I have talked about this. We want to get myself out of it. I'm very programmed to take this knight, but I guess it really doesn't do anything because the bishop's there, right? The bishop can just take. There's no damaged pawn, and this isn't your typical Grand Prix, so they're not going to come in trying to fork and, and such. But anyways, g4, look at that. Best move. Boom. Knight goes back. This is a miss. It just wanted g5 right away. Wow. I figured after g5, he would just go back. That's a mistake. <laughs> h4, miss. Take the free pawn. Makes sense. And then he locks the center. And it's plus two for white here. I push the pawn. Okay, I could have won a pawn here, apparently. I didn't want it. <laughs> and actually, that pawn does serve... A good purpose here. This is a miss. What should I have done? Take? Pardon? I guess, yeah, makes sense. But we just keep going with the attack. We take, he takes, and then we go queen over. I don't really know what the threats are. I forget now, but anyways, that's what we do. And then we play rook here. He plays Bishop there, and it's mate and 12. But we go here, and there's no mate and 12 anymore. I want to see what this mate and 12 is. So rook over immediately. He blocks. We take, take, take. This is just a sequence of him sacrificing everything. So what? what is the actual mate? I guess the point is after this, we have a checkmate threat. So if he does block here... We take, he takes, and instead of stockfish sacrificing everything, let's just say, what a human move. Oh, it's my go. Okay, let's say we take. How can he defend this? Well, he we could play king up, but then there's that. He has to go back, and then there's mate. Okay, yeah, I guess rook over was a good move. I should not have did that. I mean, it's still winning, and the, the idea is there. Takes, and yeah, now it's just mate and seven because he can't really stop me from going here. Once again, Stockfish just wants to sacrifice everything <laughs> and then get checkmated. So we had a performance ELO of 1550 versus his 950. Not his greatest game, not my greatest game, but I will take the W. If you enjoyed the video today, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribing, and I will see you tomorrow.